Good evening, and welcome to another edition of The Sports Call with Joe and Paul. I'm Paul Barquita. And I'm Joe Sarno. And Joe, welcome back. Welcome back, our, our viewers on YouTube. So today marks the official end of March. Today is March 31st. But Joe, obviously, the madness is still going on here in the NCAA tournament. Final four action in Indianapolis this weekend. And Joe, you now know personally firsthand of how crazy this, this tournament really is. Joe, Joe was at the game this past weekend at the Carrier Dome. So Joe, why don't you talk a little about that first just to get this show started? Well, Paul, I think the experience I had in the Carrier Dome was just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I got to witness one of the best games of the entire tournament mm -hmm. between Michigan State and Louisville. I mean, both teams went back and forth, but ultimately Michigan State pulled away and made a great win against a good Louisville team. Right, that game went into overtime. Two of the top coaches in the tournament, uh, Coach Rick Pitino and Tom Izzo, Michigan State and Louisville coaches, but three number one seeds now in the final four. We got Duke, Louisville, oh, excuse me, Duke, Wisconsin, Kentucky, and Michigan State. Joe, you're a big fan of Michigan State. So out of those, out of the two matchups uh, between Duke, Michigan State, Kentucky, and Wisconsin, which one do you like the best? And which one do you see is gonna be the better game, you think? Well, Paul, I see the game matchup of Wisconsin versus Duke, versus Kentucky, rather as a huge matchup. I mean, all Americans going at it at all phases of the floor. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns is being talked with Julie Local for as possibly a number one pick. But a guy, Frank Kaminsky, on the other end, isn't too bad himself, Paul. One of the most consistent forwards in the game today. And his, par his partner, Decker, on the other hand, the way he can shoot the three ball is really going to cause problems for that Kentucky team. Right, so like you said, Final Four action is going to be this weekend. and. Three of the top coaches, as I, we've been talking about before, mm -hmm. uh, Tom Izzo, as we mentioned earlier, John Calipari, and Coach Mike Shashevsky, Coach K. Uh, obviously, both these, all three, the, all four of these teams have had a great run, but um, I really still think that Kentucky is going to be that team to pull out of it, Joe. Mm -hmm. So, who do you think is going to be your final two? And then eventually on Monday night in the championship game, who is going to take it home and win this tournament for good? Well, Paul, I'm sticking with my picks from last week. I'm going Duke versus Kentucky, powerhouse versus powerhouse, Calipari versus Coach K, and I see Duke winning, Paul. I mean, the same reason I said before, Justice Winslow proved me right last week, put up a huge game, over 20 points, over 10 rebounds, and I, I just see them having a lot of trouble with those guys at Duke on the outside. Right, yeah, so I, I can definitely agree with you on that. I definitely think that's the powerhouse matchup. But, um, yeah, so you'll catch that this weekend in Indianapolis. Uh, I'm not sure what time the games actually start. I should have looked that up before, mm -hmm. but apologize about that. So that's, yeah, so that's going to wrap it up tonight pretty quick. Quick show. Me and Joe are feeling a little bit under the weather. But um, so next week we'll definitely wrap it up with our March Madness. And, Joe, baseball starts tomorrow. Yes, opening it does, day, Paul. opening night. San Francisco Giants against the Atlanta Braves. We'll kick it off for the MLB season. And our Yankees and our the rest of the MLB will be playing Thursday opening day so we'll get back into that next week at, next week on uh, next Tuesday so signing off I'm Paul Barquita and I'm Joe Sarno have a great night